Hey, it's Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Today, let's talk about whether hibiscus tea can lower your blood pressure. You may be surprised by what you're about to see. Let's look at the research. So here's one study from several years ago, the effect of hibiscus tea on hypertension. These researchers find that drinking hibiscus tea resulted in about 11% drop in both the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. That's the top number and the bottom number. And these results happen quickly. Within 12 days of drinking hibiscus tea, they started to see a significant drop in both the top number and the bottom number of their blood pressure. Now, I'll also call your attention to this little part here. Just like any other natural thing, you've got to take it long-term to see the results. Notice, after three days after they stopped taking it, their blood pressure began to go up. So again, like all natural things, you're going to have to take this long-term to see these results. This is not the only study, however. I got a few others to, to show you, so let's move on from here. Here is an investigation of people with, say, type 2 diabetes and hypertension. And I also point out that they're giving people either hibiscus tea or black tea to see if one worked better than the other. Here they find that people taking hibiscus tea, they showed a drop in systolic blood pressure, a significant drop in, in systolic blood pressure, but no significant de decrease in diastolic blood pressure from the, from the hibiscus tea. But let's look at the numbers for systolic blood pressure. Blood pressure, the top number of the blood pressure fraction, okay, it dropped from an average of 134 all the way down to 112 in people taking the hibiscus tea. What about those taking the, the black tea, however? it actually increased from 118 to 127, and that's a significant increase. My guess is that may be due to the increased uh, caffeine content of the black tea. But regardless, another study showing hibiscus tea drops, lowers systolic blood pressure. Now, this is not the only study. Let me show you this next investigation, which I find particularly interesting because it compares hibiscus tea to a prescription drug. This is a prescription medication you see down here. It's called an ACE inhibitor, very common medication for hypertension. So they, they basically give people either the drug or hibiscus tea for one month. What do they find? They work the same. These researchers found no differences between the blood pressure lowering effect of the drug and the blood pressure lowering effect of hibiscus tea. Looking more closely here, they find hibiscus tea was able to drop that systolic blood pressure from 139 at the beginning all the way down to 123 after the study was over. And then as for diastolic blood pressure, again, it went down from 90 down to about 80. So about a 10 point drop in uh, that, that diastolic blood pressure, but that's a big de decrease in systolic for people taking the uh, hibiscus tea. Now this study came out in 2004. It is not the only one out there. Here's a more recent investigation, which also looked at hibiscus tea in comparison to that very same blood pressure medication. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. Number one, they're looking at hibiscus tea and, and also this other herbal tea, which has a reputation for lowering blood pressure, which I won't even try to pronounce that name. It's, you know, I'd butcher it for sure. But regardless, we've, it's a pretty big study. I get almost 220 people with hypertension and they give them either uh, the hibiscus, they're calling it bis bisap here. They're either giving them hibiscus tea supplements or hibiscus tea itself or they give them that other herbal tea and a tablet or the tea as well. And then there's that drug again. So they're comparing these herbal teas to this prescription blood pressure drug. It's a six month study and they find that both of these herbal teas lowered systolic blood pressure the same. So equivalent decrease, equal decrease in systolic blood pressure by the, by the hibiscus tea and that herbal tea. And also I'd call your attention to this, the teas worked a little bit better than the supplement. Something to think about if you are, for instance, taking in a hibiscus tea supplement, drinking the tea appears to work a little bit better. Or if you don't like drinking the tea, because it can have kind of a, a powerful taste, you can just take that, do what I do, take that tea bag open, cut it open, throw it in the blender with a smoothie, and you will, will barely even taste it. But let's move on. There's something else I want to point out here. They find that the blood pressure drug, okay, the blood pressure drug worked in about 40% of the people, okay, 
but the T's worked in about 50% of the people. So I, I pull your attention to that because the researchers say here that the, the, the herbal T's, the, the, the T's were as effective as the drug at lowering blood pressure, but wait a minute, it looked like the drug was 40% effective, but it was 50% effective in the hibiscus tea and that other tea. So to me, that says the hibiscus tea worked a little bit better than that drug. So that's kind of interesting. We have two studies showing the hibiscus tea may be as effective, maybe a little bit more effective than at least one blood pressure medicine. I'd love to see what happens if they test it against other BP medications, but let's move on from here. So Let's look at meta-analysis. These are studies of studies. Let's look at what happens when we get a whole bunch of similar hibiscus tea studies, crunch them together, see if we can find any commonalities here. So here in this investigation, these researchers looked at five previous studies, almost 400 people in these studies, and they find, yeah, the, the, the hibiscus tea can reduce both systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure as well. If we look at the actual numbers, however, look at this. The average drop in systolic blood pressure between these five studies was, a, was almost eight point drop and almost an eight point, almost a four point drop, three and a half to four point drop in the diastolic blood pressure. So a little bit more conservative numbers than you've seen in those others. Again, that sometimes happens when you look at many studies uh, to find commonalities. This is one meta-analysis. Let's look at another one. So here is another meta-analysis. This one looked at seven previous hibiscus blood pressure studies. Again, over almost 400 people in this study. Again, they're also finding that hibiscus tea can lower both systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. And as an added bonus, it also appeared to have a significant lowering of blood sugar as well. Again, if we look at the actual numbers here, we see about a, a four, four to five percent drop, uh, number drop in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. So again, a little bit more conservative numbers than we've seen in some of those individual studies. That sometimes happens, but regardless, the writing on the wall is, is that hibiscus tea appears to be lowering both the top number and the bottom number of blood pressure, which is good news for people. As for how it works, some researchers point out that hibiscus tea may have a, a diuretic effect. And then we have this other very intriguing study, which appears to show that hibiscus tea can inhibit hormones, which play a role in blood pressure. This is here ACE, this is angiotensin converting enzyme. One of the things it does is it squeezes blood vessels together. That can raise your blood pressure. And then over here, this is plasma aldosterone. Aldosterone is actually a hormone that conserves salt, sodium, which you know is high, high, too much sodium can also increase blood pressure. So if it increases these two, or if it decreases these two hormones, that can also be another mechanism by which it lowers blood pressure. So there you go. Several studies appear to show that hibiscus tea can affect lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure, and it doesn't appear to have any negative side effects. Although I point out if you are taking any blood pressure medications, you absolutely want to talk to your doctor uh, because there, just in case there is any medications. I will link to a couple quality uh, hibiscus tea supplements that I think are worth taking a look at to start your journey. But uh, yeah, the writing on the wall is pretty impressive for hibiscus tea and blood pressure. So there you have it. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to help you out. Until next time, I'm Joe from Self McClarity. Take care. Talk to you later.